hello friends welcome back my name is priyendra kumar and in this video you will learn how we can use text join formula in all excel versions friends first of all i would like to tell you about the text join function text join function is in excel newly introduced function which is available only in excel 2016 if you are using any other excel version then you will not get this function okay what text join function do it join your multiple strings into one string along with a delimiter as you are seeing my screen i have here multiple uh, employee id and i have join you can see here the multiple employee id with semi uh, colon separator okay and friends i have i am using excel 2013 that is the reason i am not getting text join function if you will type text then you will get text and text join function in 2016 but if you are using 2013 or any other version then you will get only text when you will type te all right so here i i would like to show you i have created this function which is my text join then i have given this delimiter and one one for true and false i'll tell you why i'm taking this and then the range of my strings then you can see it has joined uh, the e uh, this employee id with semicolon separator so this is the separator okay and now i would like to tell you uh, if you will use zero in place of one let's say i'm taking this list for the month and then i will use tag my tag join my tag join then i will take uh, delimiter so you are not getting the syntax so we can uh, go to the uh, function or formulas and then insert function here you can see this option available which is select a category you can select user defined from here and i have created this user defined function which is my text join click on this okay here you can see uh, this is the syntax available here so first of all i will give the delimiter let's say i am giving comma then uh, ignore empty i want to ignore the empty cells or not so i'll give here true i don't want to take uh, blank cells okay and then the text line so i'll give the text like this and click on okay then you can see the comma separated list of month if i will use a false in place of true or zero then what will happen currently there is no change but if i will remove few months from here then you will see just commas here because it is taking blank cell also but if i will use one or true in place of zero then you can see it will ignore the blank or empty cells all right friends so this is the function which i have created here to use in excel there could be multiple uses of this function for example if you have multiple employee id and you want to uh, paste some data in some software which take employee id semicolon separated and you have the long list then you can use this function otherwise if you want to create data validation and you want uh, this comma separated list then you can also use this function and there could be other uses also so friends i'll tell you how we can create this in microsoft excel let's start without delay i'm going to the developer tab then visual basic or you can press alt f11 to uh, open the visual basic editor here you can see this visual basic editor has been opened now first of all i would like to insert a new module so i'll go to the insert then module so you can see this module 2 has been inserted successfully now here i will create the function so i'll take function then function name so my text join i have already taken now let's say i'm taking pk underscore text join. so this is the name of my function then i'll give the input parameter 
All right. So uh, first of all, I'll give uh, let's say some separator or a delimiter as a string. Then uh, on the second parameter, I'll give uh, let's say ignore blanks or empty as I'll take is a boolean. So user need to give true or false, and then. I'll take text as range or I'll take text range, let's say text underscore range as range and just close the bracket. Now the output will come in a string as a string. So this is the output out after the bracket and press enter. All right, so we have declared our function. Now we will use some code here. So first of all, I'll take dim c as range then dim n as long let's say then first of all i'll i'm giving a value of n as zero now here i'll put simple uh, condition the range will be uh, the text range will be given by user so what i'm doing here i'm using a for each loop for each c this range which i have taken in text range next so c will be a cell which available in text range so a loop will run entire range now here i'll put a condition if n is equal to 0 then else and if if n value is equal to 0 which is the default value basically then pk text join equal to c dot value means n value will be zero when a loop has just started means this is the first cell so first cell value will be c dot value it may be possible there is only one cell has been given by the user otherwise when the second cell then pk uh, text join value will be second cell or uh, the next cell then it will be the value of pk tax join and then we will take uh, this uh, delimiter and c dot value you can see this all right friends so uh, now here i'll type n equal to n plus one now the value of n will be changed so basically now second time when value of n will be greater than zero then this code will run this will not run this code will run when the n value equal to zero all right so let's check this we can check it here let's say i'm typing pk tax join then i'm giving comma as delimiter then uh, we have not used uh, this uh, ignore blank so far but we are giving just let's say one however there is no use zero or one so far and then i'm giving the range let's say i'm giving this range and close the wicket enter so you can see here is comma separated uh, employee id is available all right so let's go to the visual basic again since we have not used this one now the time we will use ignore blank if somebody is giving zero or one because if we will give here zero and we are ha we have some blanks then it will show the some commas if we will take let's say one then still it will show some commas blank commas here okay so because we have not used ignore blanks now the time to use the ignore blank here so we will put a uh, another if condition here and that will be if ignore blanks equal to true let's say true all right then so i am putting else condition here then and if here so if this value uh, this ignore value is given true or one by the user then 
this certain code will run so here i have to uh, check this uh, the cell is blank or not then it should take only when the c cell has some value so i'll check if vba dot is empty then i'll take c dot value is equal to false when this value is not empty then only this code will run here we'll type them all right friend otherwise this code will not run and now if ignore blank is false means else condition then this code will run which we have typed in the starting all right i have copied it from here so our code is completed now we just need to put here application dot volatile so application dot volatile is used so that our function can calculate automatically all right so let's move on to the excel so here if i will press enter again then you can see we are taking one means ignore blanks true so it is ignoring the blanks from here if we will take zero then it will not ignore the blank it will take blank and then comma 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 all right friends so uh, that's how we can create this function in microsoft excel and i hope this function can be useful to you and you can easily create this function in microsoft excel friends just one thing i would like to tell you about this function please do not take the long range or just don't take like range a to a for entire uh, you know the column otherwise what will happen the loop will run in the entire cells or entire rows so it will take more time to calculate the function and that is not a good practice so i would like to uh, tell you just make it a point take the range whatever is required okay friends i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for the watching